Come with me and you'll be in a world with pure imagination. Hello, joy joy. This is us, Princess Silka, presiding us. And us, we never had a failure. We never had a failure in our life. Us, we never failed. Us, we like each other. We truly do. Because we are benevolent people. We are sympathetic to life and to ourselves. So we're also sympathetic to us, each other, us. Because us, we work very much and hard. So we appreciate very much in us and each of us. Because us, we have a lot of things going on for us. And we work to achieve these things in us. We strive because we thrive in achieving. And we have a lot of little things we would like to experience and explore. So again, we study. So we appreciate others in us who do that. As we never had a failure. As see the words with the light bulb, right? As we see the world, we achieve things like the light bulb, like the story depicted the light was invented. We just continue doing it until we achieve. That's part of the process. How often do we have to play? I already explained all of this. Yeah, we might be perfectionists, but then again, we are not eingefahren, we are not stuck in certain... We have to apply things the way it is at the very time, at the very moment. Imagine, how would I feel? The fact that I can't do lots of things right now doesn't make me a failure? No. Because I'm servicing something else now, well. And so are we doing this right now? Yes. And we did what we could earlier, yes, and things come easy to us, that's true. So we take on extra challenges. Because us has the will and the fulfilling needs beyond... Yeah, we don't really measure it, but if you want to know the masses... Yeah, the world of us doesn't have shit music. <laughs> What's it called, music? Ugh. So I invited the um, butcher to the world of us and Whole Foods when he talked to me about whatever he knew about and I did not know. And I did a few things there for him. I don't know, I kind of observed him. And I was told the story earlier that when people go to, so let's just say it bluntly, what happened? I would buy meat at that place and I had seen him and he started talking to me about certain cats. Yeah, you reminded me a little bit of, you know, some paternal figure. Now, like Adrian Bernal was giving me information out of nowhere because I hadn't really asked and I was appreciative about it. He told me what, uh, what what's the name? He told me what something is, what I didn't know about, but it was actually high information valuable to me. At the time, that was like the, you know, the, the top of the tip of the top of what I could have been learning from that very place. And I heard earlier that the, the people who work in, in, in the butcher part in Safeway, 
that they are mean and evil, that they despise all the people who go by there, because what they think is, we give them so much garbage and they buy it anyway. So the butchers, or if they're even butchers, they don't have respect for the for the clients. And what a quirky world, right? And who gives them trust? So they're arrogant, sarcastic, because I think they're like the dummies by there. Of course they are dummies because they're like cheap people, because they have cheap thoughts. Those who choose to go there, those who chose to go there, they are short-sighted and short-minded and they're narrow-minded and they're like, yeah, not really very apt to live in a society where we grow. Hence all the products. I loathe the store. I always did. I never purchased the groceries there. Now I want to finish this with something more positive. I remember the whole food store in time was like unbearable when the ego people would dive in there and do their ego thing. Each of them thinking they were like on top of the world and everyone had to eat all of their hands and step aside when they would come. But that changed. I don't know why. Maybe I... I said Ushkele in my silent appearances. Because they were rude. Yeah, those are like the rich people or the wealthy ones. I mean, the educated ones who could afford a house. Yeah, narrow-minded bitches. You had a few of those experiences. Horrible. I wouldn't go so far that the Hope was a community, but maybe a little bit. I don't know, because I don't really remember like people working there like much. I remember her, yes. And the old man. They had to adjust to my standards. How great is that, huh? Yeah, that's the hints of words, right? We can talk like five stories at the same time or even seven. But in words, I can only mention one, so I'm wondering which one shall I address. It seems so much going backwards, but I do it anyway. No. The idea is that we look at each other, each other that we do our job the most perfect we may, and that we respect each other, whether you work or you don't work there. And people can't judge other people because they don't know anything about them. And the only thing you may judge is how humanistic is a person. Because that anybody can see when you look. And if you're not humanistic, then I think you should, be, you should be part of this. Or anything for the matter. Because anything which is not humanistic, meaning mensch, is potentially or maybe certainly abusive. And that's what we cannot do have. If you're not humanistic, then you fail. Tell me, please, which way should I go? That depends on where you want to go. I don't, I don't even know where I am. 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 Where I cold am. cream soup tastes cocoa roco. Want me your wife, but she is. Mm, mm, mm. Flat, flat, long, long. You're all, you're all, 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 all,